Lord Jagannath and the, the, the huge cultural capital which is there in Odisha uh, standing in the form of Lord Jagannath's temple. So many of you must be aware, many of you would, would like to support. So thank you for this opportunity. And also thanks all of you for, for being with us and showing your interest in, in knowing something about in, about spiritual culture and Jagannath's culture. So I have been uh, told to speak on uh, about the the mysteries and the the uh, associated spiritual truth and aspects of Jagannath Temple, which is commonly known as Sri Mandir or Sri Mandir. And just give the name Sri Mandir. That's all. So before your name also you might be putting Sri Sri Vedapakas or Sri Sri Gaurav something like that you add sri to your name right so this sri represents actually the consort of lord vishnu sri vishnu means sri means lakshmi and vishnu means vishnu so sri mandir means actually lakshmi temple although it is jagannath temple but you call it as sri mandir so jagannath is the owner no doubt but uh, actually uh, the temple is called uh, Sri Mandir, like that. So, yeah. You all are able to see my screen. So, Majid Pro, my screen is. Visible. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Okay, okay. So, this temple is called Sri Mandir, and that, uh, it's named after Lakshmi because C is the owner of the temple, actually. All our Jagannath is staying there. She is the temple. She is the owner of the temple. And the temple is very, very mystical. Very, very mystical. You might, you might be seeing, seeing it just a just a simple temple. But unless and until you really devote your time, consciousness, and energy in understanding Lord Jagannath and the, the beauty and you know his magnanimity, then only you will be able to understand about. Otherwise, you will not understand. So the temple itself is very mystical. Very mystical temple. A lot of mysteries are associated with it and how it was constructed. The temple, the present temple which you are seeing, yeah, here, right now, this is gates. I'm showing these four pictures are the four sides of the temple. So the present temple, it is actually constructed by Toda Ganga Dev, one king called Toda Ganga. It is like, of course, the original temple, first it was constructed by Indra Dunga many 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 years ago and the same temple structure has been you know it has been created by a king called Chodo Ganga Dev. you see the temple here now it is standing so erect it's nearly 214 feet in height as you see here at height and it has uh, you know four structures as you see first one in the in the, in the picture you see that that is called Biman where Garbhagriya, where the Lord is actually sitting, exactly below the place where he's sitting is called Ratnavedi. Ratnavedi, he's sitting on that. Jagannath Valdesh, Vodra, they're sitting. The place where the Lord is sitting is called Ratnavedi. And this, this, the tallest structure in the temple structure is called Bhima. And just next to it, adjacent to it, is called Jagamohan. You see here, this one. The after the image, just next to the tallest structure is called Jagamohan and next to Jagamohan you are seeing there is a flat structure you see here in the in the first picture you see here or in the, in, there are four four actual structures one is the tallest and next is below and then next there is a flat structure and there is another temple type of structure and all Odisha temples you see they are more or less in this in this format only any temple you see they are in this format you go to go to South India all temples you will find their copy of Tirupati temple. You will find more or less. So because he is the main person there. Similarly, Lord Jagannath is the, the main person. So all deities, the demigods, their temples are copied to the style of Lord Jagannath's temple. So here you are seeing the four structures. The first one is called Viman or Garbhagriha. Next to it is called Jagamohan. And next to that Jagamohan, you see this flat structure that is the place called Natya Mandap. 
and the devotees when they come to take darshan they are actually allowed till jagamohan to take darshan they cannot enter into the viman well, i had a good for fortune of those times they used to allow till the ratnavedi nowadays they have stopped it government restriction has come up so, so this structure is called viman the tallest structure next to is jagamohan next to that jagamohan is called natya manda and next to natya manda is called bhoga manda where lord bhoga manda the, the the outer most structure temple type of structure outer most the you are seeing this is called bhoga manda where bhogas are kept when jagannath is offered food all the bhogas are kept there all its chhapan bhog everything is kept there that is just behind gauda stambha if you have observed gone inside many of you might have gone inside the temple also so तो ये है टेंपल का जो जो स्ट्रक्चर है और जैसे ही मैं आपको दिखा रहा था कि ये टेंपल के चार गेट है अभी रिसेंटली उड़ीसा का जैसे गवर्नमेंट चेंज हुआ बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट आया तो बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट ने एक ही गेट खोल के रखा था बस पूर्व द्वार उसी से ही एंट्री हो रहा था बाकी गेट बंद करके रखे थे लेकिन नाउ दे है ओपन ऑल द फोर गेट्स फॉर द मुस्लिम्स सो फोर गेट्स टू एंटर एक्चुअली और ईस्टर्न गेट और द ईस्टर्न गेट और पूर्व द्वार जिसको बोलते हैं सिंह द्वार वाई बिकॉज देर आर टू यूज जाइडेंटिक लाइन्स स्टैंडिंग एट दैट गेट यू सी हियर आई डोंट नो यू हैव द पिक्चर आई एम नॉट आई डोंट सी आई यू यू सी हियर द फर्स्ट पिक्चर हियर द जस्ट बिलो द लाइट यू सी देयर आर देयर इज लायन टू लायंस यू कैन सी हियर राइट देयर इज द लायन गेट और सिंह द्वार एंड देन द वेस्ट The western gate of Pashtun Dwar is called Bhagra Gate because there are tiger. You can see here near the police, next to the police, there is tiger. And then there is uh, uh, North Gate or Uttar Dwar, which is called Elephant Gate. Then you will say, "No, you are not seeing elephant because elephant is just behind this. It is inside. The elephants are inside." And here you see the south. Here you can see. Horse here. That's called horse gate. So four gates with four different animals. They are there: lion, elephant, tiger, and horse. These four usually animals are there in the, at the four gates. In the eastern gate, as you enter the front side, there is this tallest structure you are seeing. The first page, first photo. That's called. Uh, uh, That's called Arunastamba. That's called Arunastamba. So Arunastamba, Aruna is actually the brother of Garuda. There are two brothers, Garuda and Aruna. So this is not Garuda Stamba. Garuda Stamba is inside. Nearly this has a height of, uh, I believe, thirty-four feet around. That is the height of this. And there is Aruna. This Aruna is actually the chariot of, of. Uh, Sun God, Surya Dev. So the way Garuda is the carrier of Lord Jagannath, this Aruna is the carrier of Surya Dev, and it was there in Konark earlier. It's one stone structure. There is no joint here. So one stone structure, but later the temple was kind of attacked. This this Aruna stone was brought to Jagannath Puri, and uh, it is kept in the sun, in the eastern gate. So as you enter from the eastern gate, this is the temple. Different different views of the temple have shown. Yeah, you know here you, as you enter from the uh, from the Purva Dwar, you see a beautiful deity of Jagannath. This is called Patita Pavan Jagannath. Very beautiful man, Patita Pavan Jagannath, and. Uh, This, I'll tell you the story why this Jagannath is called Patita Pavan Jagannath and why he is standing at the gate and why he is alone. Why is, why Valram is not there and why Shubhadra is not there? Why why there is no Sudarshan Chakra here? Why only Jagannath standing? Because here Jagannath is standing for those who cannot enter inside the temple because this temple outside there is no that only Hindus are allowed. So they don't allow other people who are not non Hindus. So for especially the Westerners, Lord Jagannath has many Western devotees. By, by the beautiful mercy of Sri Lanka Prabhupad, many many Westerners, Americans, Europeans, Australians, all that not 
Indian born, they are becoming devotees of Lord Jagannath, but they cannot enter into the temple. So Jagannath is standing there to give them darshan. Wo log kaise darshan karenge? Hum bawa andar hi nahi ja payenge. Do do hi event mein wo darshan kar sakte hain. Pehle hai, pehla ye pati pavan se Jagannath ji ka, ye pati pavan Jagannath ji ka darshan karna aur Jagannath ji ka darshan karna same hai. Aur Jagannath ji khud bahar aate hain. Abhi jaise hum yahan ja rahe hain saath tarik ko. जगन्नाथ एक ही पूरा दुनिया में एक ही विग्रह है जो पूरा का पूरा मूल विग्रह बाहर आते हैं ऐसा कोई मंदिर नहीं जो जो मेन टेंपल से पूरा ओरिजिनल डिटी बाहर आते हैं केवल जगन्नाथ जी जो बाहर आते हैं पूरा खुद साक्षात ऐसा नहीं कि छोटा जा अपना कोई रिप्रेजेंटेटिव को भेज दिया अपना छोटा छोटा डिटी को भेज दिया नहीं तो जगन्नाथ जी पूरा स्वयं जगन्नाथ साक्षात बाहर आते हैं दर्शन देने के लिए सो मुस्तिफ दया का सागर है भगवान श्री जगन्नाथ वो बाहर आते हैं और सबको दर्शन देते हैं तो ये जो है पति पवन जगन्नाथ उनका मैं स्टोरी बोलता हूँ शायद आप में से बहुत लोगों को पता होगा बट स्टिल आई जस्ट कोई किस्म एक्सप्लेन द स्टोरी गजपति राजा कोई गजपति राजा Queen, all the kings of Puri and Odisha, Puri is a part of Odisha, and those time Odisha used to be as large as you know extending up to up to south. इतना बड़ा होता था. तो जो Puri में जो राजा होता है उनको गजपति राजा बोलते हैं. तो ये गजपति राजा थे उनका नाम था रामचंद्र देव. जगन्नाथ जी के बहुत बड़े भक्त थे. तो 17, 18th century में वो जब जब राजा थे उस समय मुस्लिम लोग ने अटैक कर लिया जगन्नाथ जी जगन्नाथ पुरी को तो वो राजा को ज्यादा खबर नहीं था और तुरंत दे अटैक फ्रॉम ऑल साइड्स एंड हिज नेम वाज तकी खान तकी खान एंड ही वाज वेरी ब्रूटल मुस्लिम देन ही यूज्ड टू अटैक एंड मेड ब्रेक एंड अटैक किल मेनी डिवोटीज रेप द वुमेन एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट दे यूज्ड टू डू सो व्हेन दे अटैक लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ एंड देन दिस अटैक जगन्नाथ पुरी सो द किंग हिम टू वांट ही वाज वेरी लिस्ट प्रिपेयर्ड टू टू फाइट टू गिव अ फाइट He was not at all prepared, and all of a sudden he was attacked. So then he was in a haste. He thought, "What to do now? There is no other way." So he surrendered. He surrendered to Taki Khan, Ram Chandra Dev. He surrendered, and he told that uh, he told him, "He please, he surrendered, and he told him, 'Please spare Lord Jagannath. Don't, don't attack the temple. Don't break the deities.' Ah, I surrender." They told that, "Okay, you surrender. You become a Muslim. You become a Muslim." So then, how do you become a Muslim? You accept. You marry my daughter, my sister, Rizia. Her name was Rizia. You if you marry her, then I understand that you have become a Muslim. So then uh, he told, okay, um, fine. So the king, the Allah agreed to to marry Rizia. So she married her and started living and brought the this Rizia to his palace. But because he got married to a Muslim, uh, people, you know, Hindus, the Hindus those those time were very very fanatic, very fanatic. So they did not let him again enter into Jagannath Puri temple. They told him, "You are married a Muslim, so you have become Muslim." But that was not the case. And the son, the very very powerful people, they don't get affected by small small things. Son, you know, is evaporating urine also, but that does not mean that. Son is getting urinated. No, son is very pure. So the king, he actually, although he married, but he remained still pure, and he because he did it to protect Lord Jagannath and to to stop the the disturb disturbances and destruction, which the Muslims would have done otherwise. So, but but these people, the pandas, they were not allowing. They told me not let you enter into into the Jagannath temple. Now, for you and me, it may not affect so much not entering. But the king was very staunch devotee of Jagannath. Very very great devotee of Jagannath. He was he felt very very broken hearted in life, as if he felt that he was living of his life. So he was not allowed. He was crying because he was not allowed to take darshan. And it's not only that much. For the king, they had a lot of festivities. They allow him to enter, touch the deity also, and they would they would take a diya and put it in the the top chakra of Lord Jagannath's temple, and they would pray that Oh Jagannath. We are offering this diya to you. Please protect our king. Like that, they will pray. So they stopped everything, and it was very devastating for the for the king actually. 
so you you do the handily because he understood so he would never come people would laugh at him look at him and they would they would you know throw glances at him and what this fellow married a muslim girl and he's all his own wives also left him they left him and they went away so along with their own all each one they, they took their respective sons and they left and the king was devastated alone and very very mortified so he would come hiding in the night covering himself with cover his body is sitting on a horse from Khulda. Khulda was the capital because since Chaitanya Mahaprabhu times all the things they shifted earlier the capital was Katak but today they came to Khurda actually so that the temple they will be their capital will be near to Jagannath Puri and they wanted closeness to the Lord so they've had night so from Khurda which is nearly one and a half hours from, from Puri you would sit on a horse Krishna? yeah Hare Krishna Prabhu, sorry to interrupt, but uh, the screen is not being shared anymore. Have you stopped yeah. it intentionally? Yeah, intentionally I have stopped it. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Okay, Prabhu. So, so the king, he would, uh, he would, I mean, he would in the night, he would sit on a horseback, he would come to take darshan of, not darshan, he would come in front of Jagannath temple, Puri, the temple in front of the Simhadwar, and he would stand there. And shed tears and cry that uh, oh Lord Jagannath, I'm not able to take your darshan, and you cry incessantly. Please, please have me your darshan. Please let me let me have your darshan. And then he would cry, and every night he would come without fail. And just before the morning, he would go back, and would come to him. So he would come and cry at night. That that was regular practice. And he would sometimes he would cry and become unconscious. Whole night you would lie and just before morning you would get consciousness and you would go back to his kingdom. But when this was happening, Lord Jagannath, he could not restrain himself by seeing the separation and the the, the utter cry of, of Ramchandra there. Once Jagannath appeared there in front of him, Jagannath was waiting. And when he came, Lord was crying, this king was crying, Lord came, gave him the son, self same original form. Jagannath gave the son to. Ramchandra Dev. And then Ramchandra Dev was surprised and he took the sun and does Lord's glorifying. So then Lord tells to the all the pandas that you know, please make uh, another form of my mine here, just in the in the front of this eastern gate, so that all those who can't take their sun, they will come and take their sun here. So in this they had they have made this. With uh, with sandalwood and uh, what do you call it? with haldi uh, and all this mixed, they have made this deity, this Jagannath deity. So this is called Patipavan Jagannath. And then there is another Hanumanji also here in the Eastern Gate called very small Hanuman. Generally, you see Hanuman very, very huge and gigantic, but here the, the Eastern Gate Hanuman is very small. Called Fate Hanuman today, one foot. Fate Hanuman. And then, then you know, there is uh, Eastern Gate event, uh, it is, uh, and there is uh, called Bais Pahaj. Bais means 22. 22 Pahaj means there's 22 stairs leading to the temple. So, why 22? Because to reach Jagannath, you have to have knowledge of 18 Purana. And four Vedas. So 18 plus 4, 22. And that's why it is 22 stairs are there. And uh, also, as you enter on the left side, there is a there is a Vishwanath temple called Kashi Vishwanath. Vishwanath is Shiva here. So many of you you know that this is Lord Shiva's temple is there. Now, why Shiva is there at the gate? Shiva is there at the gate to show that Jagannath. Because many people in Odisha they have confusion whether Jagannath is great or Shivji is great. But here it clearly shows that Jagannath is great because that in, there in the inside the temple, Shiva is standing as a servant there and taking the son of Jagannath. So Shiva is showing here that I am a servant of Lord Jagannath, Vishwanath. The Vishwanath temple is there because he is very dear to Jagannath. Shiva is very dear to Jagannath. That's why he is standing there as a protector in the beginning. And also, if you see here, you see here. 
the temple as you enter now this is the eastern gate side the first picture you are seeing this blue sky picture you see this is the eastern gate and this is how the temple looks and outside there is a huge gigantic boundary wall called meghanath pachi meghanath pachi here there are two two walls actually one wall you are seeing here the gray color and then on the top there is little yellowish topping so that is called meghanath pachi and there is another pachi you are seeing completely again covering that uh, yellow 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 that is another pachi that is called kurma pachi so this is meghanath and that is kurma and this the space between kurma pachi and meghanath pachi is called bahar veda and inside the kurma pachi is called bhitar veda like that, that the temple is there and as you enter the temple and why this meghanath pachi is there megha means actually you know cloud and nath means sound so you know what the cloud does the cloud generally you know cloud talks our reason so this is meghanath means what this will stop sound that's the meaning of meghanath so what sound it will stop whose sound because here jagannath temple is very close to the sea samudra samudra nazdik nahi hai or you know the puri beach if you have gone to south south beaches are very no they don't make noise they are very calm but puri beach is very different you know there it's us like that every you know Two three seconds, you will find sound like this, very huge noisy sewage. So that would create a lot of disturbance for Jagannath. Jagannath was not able to hear. But Jagannath could not say anything because the sea is the sea of Jagannath. Because Lakshmi Ji is the father of Jagannath. Sindhu Kanya, Lakshmi Ji's name is Sindhu Kanya. So the daughter of sea. So now the sea could not say anything. But how can it say anything? पत्नी बुरा मान जाएगी तो इसलिए जगन्नाथ जी कुछ बोल नहीं पाते थे तो क्या करेंगे तो इसलिए उन्होंने विश्वकर्मा उनका जो आर्किटेक्ट है जगन्नाथ जी का उनको बोल के बाचरी बनाया कि प्लीज कंस्ट्रक्ट दिस बाचरी बाउंड्री सो दैट साउंड इट शुड बी साउंड प्रूफ सो दिस वेरी साउंड प्रूफ इन साइड नो साउंड कम्स सो दैट जगन्नाथ कैन टेक रेस्ट पीसफुली एंड देन देयर इज ए गो द फ्रंट साइड देयर इज देयर इज दिस एज यू एंटर द टेंपल then after crossing the kurma pachi you will see there you know deity of chaitanya mahaprabhu and inside there is only one personality who 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 is very recent 500 years ago that is chaitanya mahaprabhu all other all other there are many demigods bahut sare devata bhi hai udar ganesh ji ka do ganesh hain hanuman ji ke kafi sare mandir hain andar fir shiv ji ka jaise maine bataya panch mahadev hai udar panch mahadev ये तो विश्वनाथ जी हो गए और फिर आगे अंदर पांच महादेव है फिर सूर्य देव का मंदिर अंदर है बहुत सारे देवता के लोग देवता लोग का मंदिर क्यों है दिखाने के लिए कि कि जो मेन आदमी है जगन्नाथ जी और हम सब अटेंडेंट है जैसे आप किसी के बड़े लोग घर में जाते हैं तो उसमें प्राइम मिनिस्टर घर में जाएंगे तो उसमें मिनिस्टर भी रहते हैं ये भी रहते हैं या फिर उनका जो मीटिंग हॉल रहता है कैबिनेट में उसमें देखना प्राइम मिनिस्टर रहते हैं उनके नीचे होम मिनिस्टर बाकी सब मिनिस्टर रहते हैं उनके नीचे एम रहते हैं तो वो सब दिखाने के लिए कि वो ये आदमी कितना बड़ा है तो उसी तरह ये देवता लोग हैं इसका मतलब नहीं कि हम देवता लोग हैं जो दिखाने के लिए कि जगन्नाथ जी सुप्रीमो है इसलिए और हम सब उनके वी आर देयर फॉर इज नो बेक कॉल एंड सर्विस अदर डेमीवर्स आर प्रेजेंट देयर सो मेनी टेम्पल्स एंड देर इज लक्ष्मी टेम्पल ऑल्सो द टेम्पल ऑफ ऑफ लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ सो Yeah, sorry, the temple of Lakshmi. That is Lakshmi's temple, the temple of his consort, Lakshmi. So under a fair or kya kya milta hai ab Eastern Gate mein jisse jayenge. There is a huge kitchen also with 572 stoves. Aapke ghar mein ek ya do maximum kitna stove rahega? Three four chula rahega. Lekin Jagannath ji ka 572 chula hai. Or it definitely, I guess around 570 or 500. Somebody can find out the exact number, the number of chulas there, and continuously there is cooking, use cooking. So apart from this, there are uh, you know, some other things. I just explain what other things you find inside the temple. Yeah. So 
you are seeing here this temple structure just one minute yeah here so this is the front side view eastern gate if you have seen trigger pinning to pastina urvadwasi are you there up taking a this month they cover exactly this ka jo bhoga manda pe bhoga manda pe upar ek bahut bada pe pe ek matka hai idhar dekhiya to matka kis liye rakha gaya hai uska story aapko batata hu wo matka udhar kis liye तो समय एक राजा थे उनका नाम था मदन मोहन देव तो मदन मोहन देव जब जब राजा थे उस समय उड़ीसा में बहुत सारे बुद्धिस्ट लोग रहते थे और बहुत सारे बुद्धिस्ट वेर मेनी जैसे कि और किंग अशोक भी केम बुद्धिस्ट देन लेटर ऑन एवरी बॉडी भी केम बुद्धिस्ट एक्चुअली सो मेनी लोग बुद्धिस्ट सो मच सो दैट द बुद्धिस्ट देयर नंबर वाज स्टार्टेड इंक्रीजिंग वेरी यू नो गैलेंट साइज सो बट द वो द actual puja of jagannath were done by pandas actually to so the point the, the buddhist they thought that we are also buddhist now we are so detached we should worship jagannath why these pandas are worshiping they were, went to the king of the moon they went petitioned him that you know we want you should remove the pandas the puri brahmans and you should give the worship to us then this uh, king dinai the king told them they are being worshiping the pandas and this jagannath teacher they are very very dear to jagannath i cannot do that so then they were insisting no 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 you should you should let us worship jagannath also then they told look okay, here fine the king to let's have a you know test whoever will come out successful in the test he will worship jagannath so then what they did they took this matka you see this matka is kept here in the top so the matka was there and then the king inside that matka what he did he kept a snake and nobody knew nor the brahmanas nor the buddhist knew he kept the snake and covered the lid and kept and from both the side all the pandas were there another one side pandas were there another side all the uh, buddhist monks were there and the king told that is there you what is there inside this matka and he gave the first chance to the buddhist he would tell what is there inside this matka then su successful then you will get the chance to worship jagannath <clears throat> then they they asked the buddhist first the buddhist they did the you know their yogic tantric shakti they 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 were very expert in that tantric tantra with all the buddhist and then they saw that oh yeah true inside this there is a snake so then the buddhist guru immediately told inside this matka there is a there is a snake <clears throat> so then there is snake and there there now please have open and see what is there but before the actually the hind happened the pandas they objected they stopped it. wait the pandas knew that actually a snake is there but the pandas were also no less they were also expert in tantra vidya to so by their tantra siddhi they bond that snake inside the matka only that snake was bond and it became ash and then the king told no 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 they told the king there is no snake inside there is only ash inside this matka And the king was surprised. Are how these people are saying it is actually snake is there? That means the the worship will go to the 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 Buddhist. And the king actually did not want that. So, so they but they when the king opened it, he saw actually there is ash. He was surprised. How it is the ash? But actually the pandas they had done like that. So then the king was happy that there is ash, no snake. And then the panda started jumping. Yeah, now we got the opportunity. And what they did? They started beating all the Buddhists very miserably, and they started driving them out of Jagannath Puri. All of them they left. But before they left, before they would leave, they cursed the pandas. The, they cursed the king. Now the king, you know what is the truth? You know that there is a snake, but you have kept, but you are not telling the truth. You are hiding because you are partial. You want the pandas to worship. So before we leave, we curse you that in your mouth there will be worms, 
like that he spoke and he left. they left all the so all the buddhists left but eventually true enough the king started getting one small insect started coming from his mouth and then the he multiplied into two three and all around the king whenever the king would speak you know, they would they would smell very bad and they would create so much of pain for him his mouth was swollen and he would suffer so terribly they would cry and pray to Jagannath what to do now how to get remedy of this oh Jagannath I please please protect me I I want I didn't I just wanted to serve you the Lord, Lord Jagannath came in his dream Madan one day and and told that yeah if I'm just I gave you this punishment because you spoke lie I only like those people who speak truth like that they have to I only like people who speak speak truth i don't like who lie like that so but so you got punishment now i give you blessings you get cured but one thing you must do this matka in which you are carrying the snake you should keep on the top of this you see here this matka you see here and not this one any picture which is clearly visible here uh, one minute. Yeah, this first one you're seeing the yellow one, this matka. This one. So this matka is actually the escaped by the king and the uh, Lord Jagannath told him that he keep it on the top to show to the world that Jagannath is Satya Priya. He likes speak being truth being spoken, not lie. So this is one very nice instruction for all of us also that we should always speak the truth then you will be victorious eventually maybe by speaking lie you might become victorious for the time being but that is very very deadly very very deadly that's very dangerous one should not speak lie so as you see this temple here the the temple main structure i would like to speak something from the main structure Viman, the bigger one here so this structure the front side, eastern side facing the east, there are temples called Jagumaho, Natyam, and And exactly the back side, the western side of this, this uh, temple, main temple, main structure, there's a big huge Narsimha there, seven feet in height, standing, facing to the west. And then again on the north, there is a, there is a Bhaman Dev. On the north, there is a Brahman Dev. On the wall itself, very beautiful black huge Brahman Dev. And on the right side, on the south, there is a huge Varaha Dev standing. Like so, Varaha Dev, Brahman Dev, and Narsingha Dev. Narsingha Dev on the west, north, Brahman Dev, and south, Varaha Dev, the incarnation of the Lord standing. So all of them actually show that why they are there, they, that is there they, to show that all of them, they come from Jagannath. Jagannath is the source of Vamandev, Varadev, Lord Ram also, there is inside Ram Chandra deity. So Lord Jagannath is also the is source of Lord Ram, although he is not different from Ram, he is also the source of Ram, like that. To show all these things. And exactly behind there is a huge Ganesha deity. Ganesha is always worshipping. Lord uh, Jagannath, Yatpada Pallava, Yatpada Pallava, uh, Yatpada Pallava Yugman, Vinidhaya Kumbham, Dvande Pranama Samaye Saganadhi Raja, Vignam Vihantam Alamasya Jagatrayasya, Govindamadhi Purushantam Amdhaya. Jagannath is always worshipping Lord Jagannath and because of that he gets the power to destroy the destiny, all inauspiciousness of these three worlds. So, okay, so this is about this Ganesh called Bhanda Ganesh. Very huge black, deity called Bhanda. Bhanda means cheater Ganesh. Ganesh is the cheat. And Ganesh had cheated actually because in, in one there was a king, his name was Purushottam Dev. So, this Purushottam Dev, I'm telling the story of this Bhanda Ganesh, why he is there behind Lord Jagannath's temple. So, this Purushottam Dev. 
he was a very staunch uh, devotee of Lord Jagannath. So then once, you know, he, Purushottam Dev, who was a very powerful king of Gajapati king, but all the Gajapatis were very, very powerful. They at that time were ruling south, many part of this Anga, Banga, Kalinga, all put together is to, was called Ukkal. Bihar, Bengal, and then, uh, then the south till, till Chennai, to that point, Kanchipuram, till that point it was the spread. And all the smaller, smaller kings, they would, uh, you know, they would pay taxes, taxes and tributes to the Vajapati king. So one king, he had a beautiful daughter called Padmavati, and his name was Narsimhadev in South Kanchi. And he, he wanted to offer his daughter to marriage to Purushottam Dev of Jagannath Puri. So he sent his minister along with a letter written that I would like my beautiful daughter to hand over in marriage to, to Purushottam Dev. So Purushottam Dev accepted the proposal. And, and the minister was going back to the country, but he told the king told that you stay back after Sunday that Hentra festival is there, you see a huge chariot festival of Lord Jagannath, and then you can go back to your country. Then the minister agreed to it. And he stayed till that point. On the day of Rathayatra, he sort of before the Rathayatra would actually begin, the king took the jhadu broom and started booming in front of Jagannath. And the minister felt very bad. How can the king do like this? They should have some status quo, some position. The, he himself is coming down, taking the jhadu and is booming. What is this? This is a very third class thing. And the king doesn't have any sense. The king is doing like this. What, what other people will feel like that? He felt. But he did not understand. Actually, it is a very big thing. Actually, to, to serve Jagannath, Jagannath is the master of the universe. So he is the king of the whole universe, and king is saying that I am grooming his. And sometimes the king would take the sandals of Jagannath and put on their head, so that Lord Jagannath is the master. Actually, your servant. So it is easier said than than what you can understand. Generally, all of us have a tendency to be master. We are not ready to go down in front, and we say that I don't care for anyone. I am the Lord of I survey. I'm my way is highway, I'm boss, I'm best, I'm, I'm the greatest. But actually, that's not true. Eventually, you see, all of us, we are all tiny dots, just controlled by hunger, thirst, lust, anger, greed, controlled by so many things. We don't have much power, actually. We're a tiny, insignificant dot in this whole huge, gigantic creation. So, King was, was portraying that King Jagannath is very great. We are very small. He was saying that. So he was grooming and he felt that today, what is this he's doing? I cannot give our princesses to this person in marriage. In mind, he, you know, he made up his mind that I go and tell the king that we will cancel this marriage. And exactly the same thing he did. And National Dev told him, fine. He mentioned that oh, let us cancel our marriage. And he just gave a letter that we don't want our marriage. The king was surprised. And he just gave a small note because we saw you grooming in front of the Huge festival in, in front of everyone. You are booming. You are a king, and you are supposed to do like this. What will happen to my prestige? What will happen to my daughter? What she will feel that I am I am marrying to such a person with no intelligence? So then the king, when he read this, he started laughing, and he also felt very angry. What are you fool? You do you know what I am doing? I am booming in front of Jagannath, and you are saying like this. So because you are speaking like this, is an offense to Jagannath. So immediately the same day he started went there to fight with Salon Dev along with True. Not that because they cancelled the marriage, he was in love with Padmavati, not like that. He thought that is an offense to Jagannath. So let's have a fight. So they went. And just before reaching Anchipuram, they were waiting for next day morning. In the morning, they will fight. All of the people were sleeping, and the king himself was sleeping. And Narsimhadev came to know this king that he has come. So he had his deity, who was Ganesh. He went and prayed to Ganesh that please, this king has come to fight, you do something. Then Ganesh said, okay, no problem. So Ganesh sent his rat. And the rat, what he did, he, he came and he lit fire in the camp where they were resting. And when new soldiers died and there was a huge disturbance, the whole river started burning. They did not understand when the soldiers started running here and there, and there was a huge Chaos. And that was the time they attacked. And they were brutally defeated. And the king had to flee for his life. And somehow or other they escaped and they came. And the king was very devastated that I had to feed and face a defeat. And he went in front of Jagannath. He explained the whole story. 
Lord Jagannath told her he should have consulted me. You just left without consulting me. You did not give a time for me. My you should have come and confessed in front of me. I would have handled the situation. You go back. This time you go, this time you will become victorious. You be assured. And Jagannath the king became very confident and again they went. And this time, I can tell you when um, as the king was there and it was south, because the Kanji is south. That's why this south there are this horse gate is there. On that side they had gone. So the king was going along with they were walking that time to fight called Kanchi of Ijan. So they were on the way towards Kanchi or the king and everyone they were going. So uh, but two soldiers they were going ahead. One was seated on a white horse, another was seated on a black horse. Both of them, both of them were going very fast. And they were as if very enthusiastic for the fight. Both of them were ready to use shining swords inside Sith and they were looking like like diamond, their body was dazzling and very, very powerful, very handsome. Both of them were walking, sitting on the chariot, and tibli, 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 very fast they were going. And but on the way, they, they felt very thirst just crossing this way. They felt very, and there was a lady, she was so you know, she was selling charge buttermilk. So they asked, We are very thirsty, can you give buttermilk? And this simple lady, village lady, girl, she gave and both of them dub, 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 they drank all the charge and then they asked, give money, because we don't have any money, we have only sword, we only fight, we don't have money, so he started crying, Are you, get, you drank everything, I don't have money, look if you don't cry, the black one of that soldier, he removed his finger, you know, ring and gave to this girl, so you take this, and present to our king. He is coming behind. You tell two of your soldiers they ran out of charge. They did not give money. Please take this ring and give me money. You know, fitting my charge. And uh, the lady did the same thing. He was waiting, and true enough, huge army started marching towards her. The king was there. Huge phalanx of armies. They were walking for the battle towards Kanchi. Then he asked that this is the the king. He told. The king told, who are my two soldiers? They have gone and how, how dare this tell that king will pay the money. Please tell me what they have given Swami. And then they saw the ring, Jagannath. Pushakam, they saw this is the ring of Jagannath. Then he understood Jagannath, Balamar, the, Balaram are the two soldiers sitting on black and white horse respectively. They have gone ahead. He became very, very you know, happy. And then that now the, definitely we are going to be victorious this time. And uh, so, as they went ahead and approached Kanchi, that time they saw that the war has already started. These two fighters, they were brutally killing all the Kanchi's army. They were been defeated thoroughly. And uh, whatever remaining soldiers were there, the king also took care of them. And then they became victorious. And they captured many of the wealth they brought. They captured the Ganesh because, because of the Ganesh they got defeated last time. So they chained this Ganesh, made him sit in a cart and brought him. And you know, behind the temple they kept Jagannath. So Jagannath is this Ganesh is sitting behind Jagannath called Vanda Ganesh or Kanchi Ganesh. Also, you enter inside, there is uh, if you see around the temple. Uh, there are many other temples also, demigod temples. There is temple of Lakshmiji, which they were consort, and there is a temple of Parvati uh, called Bimala Devi, who is there sitting once Jagannath is offered food, Lakshmiji cooks, Jagannath takes, and then after Jagannath is offered, she also gives. But she had the boon that she uh, in Kali Yuga, all time to come, she will be first getting the Mahabharata of Jagannath. And then there is uh, many other temples. There's a huge Bhattabhiksha temple inside the campus called Akshay Water. That tree, Akshay means that tree will never break, never. That is always there intact on Akshay Water. And there are many, there are five Sikhji temples Kapalmachan Mahadev, Lokanath, Markandeshwar Mahadev, Lokanath, Kapalmachan, then this. Uh, Yameshwar Mahadev, 
and Nimesh uh, Mahadev, Markandi Churmadev, Kapal Machan Mahadev, Lokanath, and, uh, and one more. I am not remembering. So, yeah. Kapal Machan Mahadev. Anyway. So, five Mahadevs are there, and then you go inside, you find there is a, there is a very beautiful lake, which has been right now become a small puddle of water, but that is called Rohini Kund. Very beautiful. Kund Rohini Kund. That is to be, that is to be huge lake at one point of time, but right now it has shrunk. Considered very, 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 very pure. Five. Lakes are inside the temple, inside Puri are considered to be very auspicious. Five reservoirs of water are considered to be very, very pure. One is this, called uh, Rohiniku. And there is Sweta Ganga, which is there on the, on the um, south side of the temple. Sweta Ganga. So now Rohiniku, Sweta Ganga, then there is Markande Sarova. Then there is, this is the third one, and then fourth is Indradumna Sarovar, and the fifth is the Mohodadi or the sea, Samudra. All these five are considered to be very, very auspicious. Pancha Mahatirth. Here in Jagannath Puri, if you take bath in them, it's considered to be, you can get liberation from birth, death, disease, and old age. <clears throat> so, so, in summary, I would like to just summarize. There are many more other things, a lot of details that cannot be just said in one hour, whatever detail I could share. So I give a brief description of the temple structure and then the four gates and then the different different temples and some past times associated with, with uh, Lord Jagannath and some deities and why the demigods are there, all these things we discussed. So. Fine, I think uh, I should stop here. Yes. Hare Krishna. Yes, Prabhu Hare Krishna. Uh, at the end, uh, we usually have a question answer uh, between the participants. So I would request everyone can you move to the QA section? Uh, and raise their questions. Prabhu, you can select and they can ask questions. I don't know. But you can select whom, whoever you want to ask, choose and they can ask. Yeah, Jitendra has raised hand. Please ask. Yes. They can they can unmute themselves or yes, yeah. Okay, anybody else? Oh, Prabhuji. Uh, we have uh, Jitendra Mahapatra who have raised his hand. Can ask his question by unmuting himself. Hare Krishna yes, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Uh, I have two questions. First question is why Rathatra is celebrated in Asar Sukladitya? And uh, my second question is why the Jagannath Lord is made of food? Why Raja Indradmuna made Jagannath in wood, not in it at that time? Most of the gods are made in stone. Mm. Yes. So, one reason why it is in Ashad Shukla Paksha because that at the time, Lord, no, the summer time is over. So, it is very natural when the summer time is over and the rain, rain has not fully started, the weather is all pleasant around, it's drizzling little, little, and you have, you go around and have darshan. You go to meet your, you know. This place. Well, actually, the Rathyatra is celebrated to the Lord is going to Vrindavan, Sri Dham Vrindavan. So, this is the time when Vrindavan is, of course, Vrindavan is always beautiful, but uh, this is the time when you 
written opportunity to go. And second, Lord Jagannath's deities are made up of wood because Lord, when this Lord Jagannath, Lord Krishna left his body in Dwarka, he transformed himself to form a wood and in that same wood floated till Jagannath Puri through the through the media of sea, the path from it went to Jagannath Puri. Floating, floating, it came there. And from that to in the Duna made you know, chariot. The Lord Jagannath himself, Lord came in his dream and told that you go collect this this uh, wood and if out of this wood you carve the chariot. So carve the deity. Okay. Any other question? There is a written question here. Thank you, Prabhu. Yeah. What is the fate of the soul who left his material body while service of Lord and memory? Oh, very good question. The fate of the person who remembers Krishna, he will go back to the spiritual world. He will not have to be born again in this world of birth, death, disease, old age, fight, quarrel, misery. He does not have to be born again in this world. Yeah, very good. One person has asked the Prabhu, what do the four gates represent? The four gates actually they, they represent the in 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 Vaikuntha gates actually. Four Vaikuntha gates. There are at each gate this uh, the personification of religion, the four aspects of religion they are standing. And they represent I know these four aspects of religion called uh, mercy and then tapasya. And the Dharma, the Kama, Moksha, all these things are representing the four gates. Okay, there is also Jagannath is meant to be worshipped by everyone as Jagat Kenneth was not offered to be Buddhist out of the area. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was kind of unfair, but, uh, but, yeah, this should not have written for true. And also, that's why, but, uh, but the pandas they they wanted to serve Jagannath to their heart's content, and the 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 Buddhist actually they they don't know the the the, the finer nuances of serving Jagannath. So that's why these people kind of bet. They definitely, they should not have beaten. That's the reason why they were punished also. Jagannath was unhappy with them, but nevertheless, it is yeah, they should not have beaten. But they also have the opportunity to serve Jagannath. That's why in our temple we never we allow everybody actually anybody. Why is Lord Jagannath's eyes are circular? Because Lord Jagannath he is very eager to receive us. When what happens when you see, say for example you are in America and all of a sudden you find your friend there. How to be your expression? Like <laughs> that your expression. So Jagannath's expressions are like this. That is love for us. Yeah, the name of Pancha Mahadev, it is Yameshwar Mahadev, then uh, Markandeshwar Mahadev, Lokanath, Apalamochan Mahadev, and then is uh, uh, Markandeshwar Kapalamochan. Uh, one name I am forgetting actually. Yeah, four I am remembering Yameshwar, Markandeshwar, Lokanath, Kapalamochan. And uh, I'm not recollecting one now. Yeah, fine. Any other question? So, probably it seems like most of the questions are, in fact, all the questions were answered. And I hope uh, you all must have cleared your doubts and whatever question you wanted to ask, Prabhuji. Prabhuji, uh, from the Parikshit family, all the participants, I would like to give a heartfelt thanks to you. And I request all the participants to unmute themselves and uh, chant Haribol three times in order to do gratitude. To so, Hare Krishna, Jai Jagannath.